the back story mm -hmm. to that was they wanted to go back to Lincoln City because that's where Archie and his wife Jan, that's where they met and got married. And so the kids uh, knew the area, they were raised there and they had friends there. And it was like a family reunion, an extended family mm -hmm. with, with, with not just you know, kids and grandkids, but also with their friends. Yeah. The it, it was a wonderful thing yeah. that yeah. Wish Granters was able to do for them. Very cool. And if you'd nice. like to give to Wish Granters, you can find them online, I'm yes. assuming? Yes, on uh, Facebook is the best yeah. way. And Facebook. we have a link on our website okay. on IdahoNews.com. Just look up Pay It Forward, and uh, it'll be a link in this story. So. Okay. Very cool. All right, we've had some weather we're talked about already. Let's mm -hmm. dive into it a little bit deeper. We do have, again, some clouds moving into the state from the west. This is just a precursor to our storm system that will be here tomorrow. So the mountain areas have seen quite a bit of sunshine through our inversion period, but they're getting a little bit of cloud cover today. And we, of course, are still trapped in our inversion here in the Boise area. Temperatures still cold out there, 27 degrees right now. Winds at 5 miles per hour, making it feel like 22. And we're going to finally see a break in this inversion as we head into uh, Friday evening and especially on Saturday as our storm will move through, clear out this inversion. So we do have a winter weather advisory mainly to the mountains to the north of our region, the Bitterroot, Sapphire Mountain ranges and uh, up into the Panhandle. Three to six inches of snow expected there. We do still have our air quality uh, in effect or air quality alert for eastern Oregon. That should clear out as well with this storm that's going to move through. So radar showing those uh, thin upper level clouds moving into eastern Oregon now into western Idaho. And again, we're going to continue to see this pattern as our storm system gets closer. Here it is up in the uh, Gulf of Alaska moving now into the Pacific Northwest. That's the uh, leading edge of it uh, essentially there. These clouds again just a, a precursor to what's to come. So temperatures while we're trapped in the inversion we're still well below average by about 10 degrees or so through much of the Treasure Valley. Valley. Sun Valley, notice they're at 36 right now, not in the inversion there. 25 in Stanley and 28 in McCall right now, 31 in Salmon. Future cast, let me just show you what's going to happen. So again, this large arc or this ridge here is that dome of high pressure that's been dominating our forecast. That's also what's driving those Santa Ana winds. You can see the contour lines helping to pull uh, down uh, air essentially from the Great Basin and rush it down into uh, portions of Southern California. That ridge will slowly die and uh, digress as we continue to have this uh, area of low pressure move into the northwest. Notice that we're at 4.30 p.m. on Friday. We're expecting a lot of cloud cover, but the precipitation won't uh, likely begin until later on in the evening hours. We expect it to be a quick moving storm system. Notice by Saturday afternoon we're already expecting clearing conditions and then we end up under more of a zonal flow which means areas to the north of us will likely continue to see snow while we should see partly cloudy to uh, mostly sunny skies as we head into the weekend. Notice this is 9 o'clock on your Sunday evening. So we're expecting a fairly active weather pattern uh, at least through much of the weekend. Futurecast, let's break it down for you a little bit closer. In the lower Treasure Valley we're expecting shower hours by roughly 7 o'clock on your Friday uh, evening. Notice that Ontario portions of eastern Oregon seeing a good chance of some showers as that front moves closer. As we zoom in to uh, the upper Treasure Valley, notice that 9 o'clock closer to 10, all of us expecting some widespread shower activity and then it will slowly move out into Saturday morning. We'll see some scattered showers mainly in the mountain regions, but much, much, uh, much of the activity will be done on Saturday and we'll see just a few showers for the mountains. So how much will we get? It's about an inch storm for the valley areas, a couple of inches, one to three in the mountain location. And for your extended forecast, notice our temperatures will be closer to average finally. We're going to see some sunshine as well heading into the weekend. Average is about 37 right now uh, for the Treasure Valley. And then we also have another storm on tap for next Wednesday. Looking like it should also bring some snow here to the valleys. We'll keep an eye on it. And then the first day of winter officially begins on Thursday. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Stay tuned.